Miami Dolphins 2020 season has ended with an unhappy ending. Right now, go to social media to see what's going on with Miami Dolphins and Tua. Many fans turned to criticize Brian Flores and some even demanded to replace Tua Tungavailoa. Are they crazy? What the F asterisk happened with them? Did they see what the Dolphins have done this season? 10 wins. That's 10 games. And with a youthful squad. Second season Flores in Miami, rookie QB Tua Tungavailoa only 8 months in the Dolphins. If you need a more compelling reason check out the videos on my channel. As a Dolphins fan, let's admit Miami Dolphins played badly against the Bills. And that's just a loss. No more. The rival Bills thoroughly outplayed and outcoached them en route to 56-26 win, and now the 10-6 Dolphins are facing reality of missing the playoffs with a sour end to the season. Tua Tungavailoa threw three interceptions and the Dolphins' elite defense and special teams groups had their worst performances of the season, allowing a Bills team playing half its starters to put up 56 points. Miami's playoff dreams are now over. We didn't play well on any phase, offense, defense, special teams, Dolphins coach Brian Flores said. I didn't do a good enough job getting them ready to go, we can talk about the coaching as well. There's a lot of factors, but at the end of the day we didn't play well. Yeah, we had a good week of practice. Yeah, I thought we were ready. You gotta execute against a good football team if you want to give yourself a chance. The Dolphins had a final chance make the playoffs if the Jacksonville Jaguars could have upset the Indianapolis Colts, but Indianapolis's 28-14 win eliminated the Dolphins. Not playing the playoff does not mean the door is closed for the Dolphins. Here, in the Dolphins, there are always outstanding individuals who will become Dolphins' future. Miami cornerback Xavier Howard recorded his 10th interception of the season, making him the first player with double-digit INTs since Antonio Cromarty in 2007. Howard also tied the franchise record for most interceptions in a season, Dick Westmoreland, 1967. Howard has a strong case to be the defensive player of the year, but he has tough competition with the Pittsburgh Steelers' TJ Watt. With Tua Tungavailoa, he is young, 16 years younger than Fitzpatrick, and has plenty to learn about reading NFL defenses and making plays at the professional level, something that will come in time and with a full, ordinary offseason, something that he did not completely have thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. Some of his decision-making needs work and he needs to learn to get the ball out of the pocket faster, but those are things he will learn to do and grow into, and it is clear that he will be the Miami Dolphins starter for the foreseeable future. Patience is needed, even though the team as a whole has made a giant leap forward in Flores' second year, but the doubts over Tungavailoa are not necessary and the proof will be in the coming years, not eight-game sample during his rookie campaign. There are fans who want to win all the time. However the champions also sometimes lose a bad match. Dolphins' roster has come a long way in just such a short time. With most players at a young age. Put your trust in this promising young squad of the Miami Dolphins. And remember, how the Dolphins once scared the Chiefs. That is Dolphins. Fins up.